two of my series on installing Windows and updating and tweaking it for a secure and fast poker computer. Okay, so I have Windows XP Service Pack 3 installed, uh, and I have all of the high priority updates installed. So now I'm going to go through and install some of the uh, lower priority updates and show you how to opt out of some of the updates. So we open Windows Updates. And we click Custom. Okay, you can see we have no high priority updates, but we do have some optional updates. So we can go through here um, and we'll install the .NET Framework, Windows Media Player 11. Uh, I think Windows Search is really bad, so I want to tell it to not show us this update again. And we'll install these other ones too. I like to install the uh, .NET frameworks in separate installs because there's some compatibility issues sometimes if you try to install the .NET frameworks together. So we'll leave that one unchecked. And we'll click Install Now. And while those are updating, and downloading and installing, I'll go through some other stuff on what I like to do to Windows. Um, so this is the language bar on the desktop here. So you can click this little options arrow, go to settings. Uh, I never use the language bar and if you only use English on your computer then there's no need for it. So you can uncheck show the language bar on the desktop and it goes away. Uh, a few other things I like to do. Uh, right click on the taskbar, select properties. I like to show the quick launch which adds this little item of small icons down here and uncheck hide icons. And we'll click apply and that adds the quick launch down here. Uh, this nice little button called show desktop minimizes everything. Uh, okay so this is how Windows the start menu comes. This is the Windows XP start menu, but I like the classic style. So go to properties again, start menu, and switch to the classic. And when you click apply, it puts the uh, these icons on your desktop. Uh, but to further customize it, I really don't like to use personalized menus, so I uncheck that. Also, these icons are really big to me. I like to use the small icons on the Start menu. So, I say show small icons in the Start menu. And now it's small. You can delete set program access and defaults here. You'll never use this. Uh, delete the Windows Catalog. Okay, another thing I really don't like is this blue theme that Windows uses as its default. So in order to change that, we can go to My Computer, right-click on it, and select Properties. Uh, that'll bring up the System Properties menu. Uh, click Advanced, and then click Performance. And I like to adjust for best performance, but... And then I... Uh, check show windows contents while dragging and use drop shadows for icons on the desktop and click apply and it changes it to the old classic windows 9x style windows 2000 style uh, I like it a lot better um, another thing is to disable error reporting this throws up that message that uh, when a program crashes it says send this error to Microsoft, send or don't send. This will turn that functionality off uh, because it's useless. Okay, so we're in the advanced tab right now. Click the remote tab and uncheck allow remote assistance invitations to be sent from this computer because you're not going to be using remote assistance. Also, I turn off system restore 
all it does is waste hard drive space. Uh, system restore in Windows XP is pretty worthless. Um, really, if you're maintaining regular backups, uh, a reformat is going to be faster and more effective than running a system restore. So click apply and it'll say that all your restore points will be deleted and you say yes. Okay, and then we'll go back to the advanced tab, uh, click performance settings, go to advanced again, and go down where it says virtual memory, click change. Uh, this is the default page file size that Windows sets. I have a gig of RAM, so these are the settings it gives me. Uh, you can reduce this to, I'll just reduce it to 400. Uh, put both of these boxes as the same number and click set. Click OK. It says that the changes require a restart. Click OK. Uh, and you'll get a message that these changes require a restart. Do we want to restart now? Click no because our updates are still installing. OK, Windows Media Player didn't install, but that's okay. That's expected. So now we can restart this computer. Okay, after running those optional updates, we have some more high priority updates that we need to install. So click install updates and install updates again. Okay, another thing I like to do is go into settings and then control panel. Sounds and audio devices. And I'm going to disable all sounds, all of the Windows sounds. Uh, and you don't want to save, save your previous theme. Uh, this keeps that annoying click from happening when you're browsing the web. And it keeps the, uh, the critical stop from happening when you get an error. Uh, these sounds are just annoying in my opinion and they don't really do anything uh, productive so I disabled them okay and uh, I like to change the layout of the folder to the details view and I like to apply that to all folders so you go to tools and then folder options and then go to view. Um, I want to show hidden files and folders. Uh, this is very convenient for finding certain uh, program folders. And uh, uncheck hide extensions for known file types uh, because that affects the behavior of uh, file names. It's uh, much better to show all the extensions. Uh, we'll click apply. Okay, and now I want to apply the uh, details view to all folders. So click apply to all folders and say yes. And click OK. You can close control panel now. Okay, these uh, updates are still installing. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is remove all the index files from our computer. So open my computer. Uh, right click on your hard drive, select properties, and then uncheck allow indexing service to index the disk for fast file searching. Uh, the indexing service just basically wastes uh, hard drive usage, uh, IO. Uh, apply changes to all subfolders and files. Uh, you'll probably get some error, some access is denied error that's completely expected. Just click ignore all. Okay, so those updates have been installed. We need to restart. Check out the part three of the video where I show you how to disable services.